place in a lot of these police actions and things that we're doing. You know, it's 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 not so important to kill the bad guys as it is to not kill the good guys. And so the, the kill chain takes a little bit longer for the missions, but you get into general unrestricted warfare. You know, in about two turns in the, in the wheel, I can kill four targets if I'm doing it right. And that is one of the advantages of all these weapons is, you know, you don't have to take 12 Mark 82s and a warship to, you know, yeah. a couple of buildings. Now it's uh, one target per building, and we, we can even with the GBU 38s cockpit programmable fuse and it's called the FMU 152 where I can in the airplane I can say I want a 25 millisecond function delay I want it to hit at this impact angle at this impact velocity so I can plan to kill a specific room in the building <laughs> and it's, it's freaky you know we actually have software we teach it all to our young guys we'll you know get a deal and you know, we'll say you wanted to go through the second floor and go off in there, so it plans this deal out and says you need a, you know, X function delay, you need this impact velocity at release, this impact angle. We can control our collateral damage by the impact angle, and like a 90 degree impact angle also reduces error, because you take that, that altitude error out of it. And, uh, you know, it's just, the, you're a weapon ear in the cockpit a lot of times, because the JTAC would be going, we want to, you know, want you to hit these five dudes in this building and, you know, best weapon. And so you'll ask him a few questions to say, okay, well, we're going to be a GB-38 from this kind of release. With the target pod, I can take a track on a target, laser it, and the laser, it's actually got its own little GPS in it. And we got the GPS in the airplane, and they each know each other's errors, and they'll talk to each other. So I could be in the wheel, laser that target, and just roll in and hit the duplicate button, the GPS will go hit it with it. got my helmet, if you look up here at a target that's going this way and we're across the circle, I can shoot, you know, coming off this wing and going this way is no big deal, because sometimes a target's crossing your nose, right? The jet's smart enough to know that as he crosses your nose, if you haven't hit the pickle button yet, it will hand off the target to the weapon on the other side of the line. Oh, 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 hey. oh, <laughs> but it's also kind of freaky because if you shoot before he does that, it'll go it, and it only goes 60 feet in front of your nose as it goes across there. So it's like, whoa! You know? <laughs> That's pretty cool. How many, how many degrees angle have you got to be too far in that? Uh, greater than 90 is the official laser. Okay. And it'll, go, it'll go back here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you know, there's a lot of other, you know, this really neat stuff. We got the, the data link. Oh, a lot of you guys that flew the F-102 or 106 had a, had a pretty decent data link. But this one, we can uh, send text. You know, there's a lot of times I take off and I get a text message. It shows up in the HUD, it says text, acknowledge, and it says contact Warhawk, blah, blah, blah. You know, so I go call Warhawk. And they could pass me a nine line over the data link. And if I accept it, it'll automatically select the target's clear point display the, the uh, IP on my moving map and the target location on the moving map. <laughs> Drop the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. Right. So it's, uh, it did, uh, we were talking about the sim. Everything's 